Hey, what's up guys? If you're like me, you're traveling, but you're always checking the markets, you're seeing how your stocks are doing, how crypto's doing. Recently, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the big 10, they're all kind of down in price. It can be discouraging. And that's where DeFi comes in. There is, uh, believe it or not, a different strategy than buy and hold. I used to think that's all crypto was, buy and hold and wait for everything to moon. But there's actually these protocols that pay you a percentage of interest every single day. And it can sound like a Ponzi. In fact, some of them are. We sometimes have to trust devs. They don't necessarily dox themselves. Sometimes there's rug pulls. It's a crazy place, this DeFi community. But I'm literally on, on the pool deck. My phone makes an uh, announcement and it's a deposit worth $2,500 from one of my passive income plays. And it's stuff like this where it just, my phone lights up. I'm making money here, making money. I'm in like a 20 different projects. So what I thought I'd do in this video instead of, just talking about how much money I'm making. Because trust me, I've lost money, I've made money, but it's the power of like diversifying your risk capital, not just buying Bitcoin and holding it, but maybe mining Bitcoin, like I talked about my interview with Famco. Uh, Or maybe it's not just having Bitcoin, it's having Ethereum because you believe the network is going to have the best apps in the future. Okay. Maybe it's not just owning coins. It's it's about taking some capital, investing in some new world companies uh, that are promising equity or are promising a portion of the profits. There's a lot of ways to play the game. My video where I went on this big rant a couple videos ago was really just to to the men, women who have to look after their families and to say, look, it's not 1984 anymore where it's like, well, I have a nine to five and I'm supporting my family. Sadly, guys, like the world is changing. And in order to keep up, you've got to keep up with your knowledge. You got to keep up. You got to keep your skills sharp. You got to be able to know where to place your capital so that your capital works for you. It's no longer enough for you to work for capital. You have to get your capital working for you. And so I've been doing this my whole life uh, in the traditional marketplace, you know, buying Apple at the age of like 15 uh, from my paper route money. Uh, buying Tesla stock. Every day I buy Bitcoin, I buy Tesla. Every single day the markets are open. Um, And I've been doing this for a long, long time. And that allows me the profits that I've made from those to take some of these gambles. So most of what we cover on this channel, as you guys know, is is pretty much gamble plays. And just so you know, I do have a big rug play gamble announcement. Um, You have to join the rugs play community to find out what it is. Click the link in the below uh, because the announcement comes out Saturday US time. So 1 p.m. Saturday, uh, but I already have an announcement in there. So if you just go to the Rugs Play community, you'll see what I mean. So make sure you're aware of that. All right. So what I thought I'd do in this video is just kind of go over like where things are at on the channel. So answer some questions. I did a video called uh, I'm going to Argentina with Famco. This was a video um, where I am talking about um, this up and coming company that Lou and Truth Seekers have basically like, you know, growth partnered on uh, with Patricio. Patricio is a native. And a lot of you asked about, um, you know, what are your concerns with them being in Argentina? My concerns would be if a company in the U.S. said, hey, let's go launch a Bitcoin mining opportunity in Argentina. I don't think that would work. I think you need locals on the ground that know law enforcement that know how the government works has you know connections um knows all about import taxes and has even people that are friends in the import world like and and that is uh the ip i call it intellectual property you just call it like well he just has a citizenship so either way i just see that as an opportunity for me to not just buy and hold bitcoin but have it passively generate for myself uh, every single month. And some of you asked, well, what about the Bitcoin having that happens in 2024? So uh, this is what we're looking at, guys. As of 2023, uh, Bitcoin participants who validate transactions are awarded 6.25 Bitcoins for each block. Did you know that? Uh, the next having is expected to occur next year at around this time, guys. So a year from now, So we still have a whole year where we can mine at that initial hash rate. And those are the numbers that Lou talks about on this here video right here. Uh, You got to go watch this interview. So what happens during the halving in 2024? Well, the blocks get literally cut in half. And that might sound depressing for miners. But remember, if the price of Bitcoin doubles, which many people say it will. In fact, if you Google, what will the Bitcoin price be in 2025? I mean... 
I love that Google tries to answer that as if we know. Wouldn't that be hilarious if they're actually correct? But my point in showing you this is that um, what will happen is Bitcoin, as Bitcoin mining halves, you might have less people Bitcoin mining. It might become more consolidated. The bigger farms will be the ones that are the only ones doing it because for the little guy, it won't be worth it. People in the U.S., if you're paying high expenses and power, most likely it's just it might not be worth it. Uh, and so you're going to have less people mining, I would imagine, which means it's a supply and demand chart, right? Um, so I, I, I'm not too concerned about that, especially if Famco gets their miners up and running within three, four months. Then by you know, Lou did a model where he showed like people that invested with Famco probably based on the price of Bitcoin at 30,000 could break even on their investment in around six months. Now, Lou obviously isn't saying hold me to the fire on all this because there's a lot of variables involved in all this. But um, either way, I wanted to answer that question. It kept coming up. What about Bitcoin mining? And I didn't bring that up in my interview. So um, this is something I'm still looking forward to. I should have uh, Lou and them back on the channel talk about it. And anyone else, if you're a Bitcoin mining expert and you have questions, I think it'd be good to have like a roundtable discussion about this because I know uh, Lou, Patricio, everybody, they just, they just want to do the right thing. With this opportunity, um, mining Bitcoin is a profitable endeavor, but doing it in the United States is very, very difficult because the power that is just too much, it's getting too much money. Uh, to spend in, in, in your costs. So Argentina is one of those countries that right now is a really good time um, to take advantage of low energy costs. Okay. So then on this video here, I talked about making a new deposit in crypto program to this date. I don't know anybody in the crypto program that hasn't gotten their payments, whether that's their initial or whether that's their monthly 25%. So, so far we're good on that. Uh, I do keep watching the, the charts on this. Um, you know, this is their crypto program chart showing inflow and outflow. You can see here uh, inflow yesterday was 600,000 outflow is 427, 624. So, <clears throat> you know, it is what it is. Again, it very well could be, I'll say the word Ponzi, but we don't know. I hope for the best. Uh, Ed promises that it's not. All right. So that's that. Did an interview with Burn Swap. Check them out. They want to be a competitor with Pancake Swap. Um, I uh, brought a Rugs play, which we all won on. Uh, Rise Big. If you went in for 24 hours, um, Rise Big was from Seven Days Group, and any Rug play that lasts over 24 hours, typically we call that a win. So I'm 10 for 13. We did that. Uh, top five paying, go through that. All of these are still paying. In fact, funds, you guys, I left that one out. Uh, they're, they're still paying. I mean, 3% a week for years and years and years. So say what you want. Uh, Liquid, X, Liquid IX, these guys launched while I was flying. And um, I watched Crypto AM's interview. If you don't join my private Liquid IX group, and watch the interview with Alex, AM Crypto. He has his own channel. Please do yourself a favor and do so. He talks about how he's worth nine figures, but not in like a braggadocious way. Like you get a sense of a guy's character and how he made his money and what this mining pool, his partnership with Uniswap looks like and how you can be, as, as a little guy, a part of where a lot of this way, like most of his investors are multi-million dollar investors. And now you and I get access to that. So that's what I'm playing. I already invested in this uh, to earn up to 7.5% a month. And then, um, yeah, all, all this uh, Vortec United still paying. Um, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, back here, 13 days ago, probably a Ponzi. I covered all these projects. So far, all of them are still paying. In fact, uh, you guys know I'm, I, I brought this opportunity. This, this is the highest paying ROI project that I know of. 2 point, uh, well, 0.1% every hour. So that's 2.4% every 24 hours. It's still up and running. And it's been like, I don't know, almost a month. And uh, it's it's simple. You just come here, you put in whatever amount you want. Let's say I put in $4,000. That $4,000 turns into $4,004 in one hour. I'm able to withdraw 100% of my initial. So I'll get back the 4,000 plus 0.1%, which would be $4. So that's pretty cool. 
So that's been going good. Uh, I play that intermittently here and there. <clears throat> if I had someone I actually trusted, I'd be like, play this every hour for me. Like an assistant, just boom, just play it. But because I'm traveling and I'm, you know, it's hard to go in and out, in and out, in and out on. So Daisy is still paying good. Uh, yeah, so when I look at all these, Aviate, they got up and launched. And uh, our, our rewards this week, Josh just announced that they're double what they were last week. All the bots are getting up and performing. We're almost at um, 100% of the capital being invested. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of good things, guys. In this, um, you know, maybe you see in this as a bear market. When you look at Bitcoin going down to 28,000, it can be discouraging. This is where I like the DeFi space. You can make that daily ROI while owning your Bitcoin, while investing in Tesla, Apple. You're diversifying your risk. And the thing with Famco, again, as a reminder. Famco for me is more of a hedge on some of these ROI dApps. It's like I want to earn passive income in Bitcoin form. So it's being a part of their mining farm in a country that has super low fees and like a year from now, two years from now, still getting that monthly payment in Bitcoin. Because imagine a payment in Bitcoin right now is like, oh, cool. It's a Bitcoin is worth 28,000. But a year from now, what is that payment look like? What is the US dollar value worth of Bitcoin? And the reason people love Bitcoin in an age of inflation, guys, is because there only ever will be 21 million of these suckers. And so the power of owning one Bitcoin is going to be all the more, um, it's like the precious, right? Like, I can't believe that guy owns a Bitcoin. That's the future I envision. I think Bitcoin will always be the speculative asset class. I don't think we're always going to be buying stuff with our Bitcoin and you know, but as this generation gets older and there becomes more of us and the younger generation sets up their own crypto wallets because that's just what we do now, like more and more people are going to seek after this thing called Bitcoin. And the question is like, what did I do about it in 2023 when I was giving an opportunity to be part of a startup? They're launching. They're going to mine in a cheap country with Argentina. They got all the connections. I don't have any of that. It's stuff like that. Um, and then I'm playing these ROI dApps like it's a mixture. So never ever go all in on anything. I'm not your financial advisor. I can't tell you what to do, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing. So thanks for letting me come to you. I know this is a crappy little setup here. Um, I wish I could show you where I was. Um, it's it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just keep some things concealed. You know, you don't have to know exactly where I am 24 seven. That's a little stalkerish. But anyways, hope you guys are doing well. Please like, subscribe to this channel. And remember, that Rugs Play community, the Liquid IX community, you're going to want to check them out. Um, I do have a video coming out tomorrow night. Whenever that is your time, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.